waiting. Okay, thanks a lot. Kind of moving on. Yeah, just, you know. yeah. Hi, Callum, how are you? Yeah, I'm all good, thank you. Yourself? I'm not too bad, thanks. Yeah. Good, good. Um, but I haven't fallen out with um, with Big Sam Allardyce, have you? <laughs> no, no, uh, no falling out there. Um, it's just how it is, you know what football's like. Sometimes you're in and, and sometimes you went. And um, yeah, I've just made sure that I've been I've been training as hard as I can, um, as hard as possible, um, to make sure that I'm, I was fit enough to to come on this trip and be there for selection. Um, but yeah, it's just how how it goes sometimes in football. At the moment, I'm I'm obviously not in the team. I don't want to be not in the team. I want to be playing and helping the lads. But um, that's obviously Big Sam's choice at the moment and. I've just got to keep grafting away and training. Did you have a word with him though? Did you knock on his door? No, to be to be fair, lads have done the lads have done okay. Obviously, when when not doing really well was in re, the last few games, but before that, the lads picked up a, a good um, good amount of points. Where they beat Brighton, the boys did. They got a good result against United at home, got a draw. So it's one of them. Sometimes you have to just. Uh, bide your time and um, I've played a lot of minutes uh, previous to that um, and under him as well um, all over the Christmas period I had a lot of minutes um, so yeah it's just how football goes at the moment and obviously it's annoying for me I want to be out there playing and, and enjoying it um, as any professional would be but um, at the moment just having to buy my time Because Stephen Kenny is, is a fan of yours he said that but the fact that you haven't played would that go against you in terms of being selected for Serbia on Wednesday? Maybe. Um, I just have to obviously hope that the the gaffer knows uh, what what I've got, the ability that I've got. Um, I've be, been quite unlucky with obviously all the COVID stuff the last few trips, so I'm really looking forward to this trip and obviously back training with the boys and, and hopefully, as I said, he, he, the backing of him obviously picking me with the lack of minutes, but um, hopefully that's down to he knows what I can I can do for him and and how I can help the team um, progress and get ourselves into the to, to the World Cup. And how big a, a motivation is that? I'm hoping, I, I I reckon if you score a goal this current crop, it'll it'll you know change everything. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. Um, we we want to be we want to be winning. Um, obviously, I've had to sit out um, in the last few few games, which is. Disappointing, but you can see that the lads are, are playing a different style of football now, um, and it's good to it's good to see. Um, and I want to be a part of that, and hopefully, we can bring it this trip. Um, and as you said, a few a few goals on the end of that that will be uh, really good to and get 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 the wins that we we all want. I hope you do. Thanks a million. Thank you. Cheers. Guy Havard, Sky Sports. Hi, Callum. How you doing? How are you doing? You okay? You all right? Yeah, good. Thank you. Good. Good. Um, down to West Ham. <laughs> um, the World Cup finals is such a, a goal, isn't it, for every footballer, whatever age. Uh, and you strike me as one of the most optimistic footballers. How confident are you that Ireland can do it, and how much does it sort of burn inside you that you'd love to play the World Cup final? Yeah, obviously. First of all, any kid um, growing up, as you know, any that's the. That's the pinnacle of anyone's career if you can play in a World Cup and, and do well in a World Cup. So, gratefully, I'm, uh, I'm in a good position where I can be a part of a journey to, to get there and, and hopefully we can do that. We're, as I said, the lads that we've... And when I've, I've played the Slovakia game and the games before that, we're playing some really good football, but it's just that final part um, and that's getting the ball in the back of the net and hopefully I can be the one to, to help the boys get get a few goals or help and... and in that forward area, um, and that's what that's what I want to do. Um, but as you said, going to a World Cup and being a part of that—that that is, I think, all of our aim uh, from staff um, to players. And, and and why not? What, why can't why can't we? I think, as you said, we're doing everything right. It's just the last little bit. And if we can if we can do that and, and get a win, I think that that will help with confidence and we can really push on them. Um, I've obviously looked at it just like by myself, and I just think we need to get we need to get a good start. Um, and you know what it's like if we can have a, a good start um, in our group, people then start sort of thinking, well, like Ireland have tur we've turned up here, so um, that's key. I think these next the next two games are, are massive um, 
getting, as you said, even sometimes just a good result um, can really pick us all up. And and they come so quick, which is obviously always annoying. We've got a few days now, and then the game the game comes around. So it's, for preparations, you have you have two days. But I think, as I said, these these two games now to start to start these group stages, we we have to start bright. And and I think we all know that. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Raf from RTE. Hey, Callum. How's it going? Hello. Are you uh, okay? Yeah, Dara O'Shea has been doing really well at club level. Obviously, he's a club mate, an international mate for yourself. Are you quite close? And uh, what have you made of his, or the way he's um, kind of taken to the Premier League? Yeah, um, it's crazy, actually, because when I joined West Brom on loan um, last January, Dara literally just got in um, properly into the first team. Um, I think he played a, a cup game against West Ham and done really well, and he kept his team, kept it, um, himself and the team for the for the league games, pushing for promotion. So, I've only seen that I I didn't see Daryl before, but since uh, the day obviously I walked in and he was always in the team from then on in and um, scored some key goals for the promotion push last year. Um, if I can remember, I think. Uh, Derby, he got a, a key goal in Millwall away, um, and then he's progressed again. This year, and us, that was a sort of player that I, I knew he'd, that he would be able to adapt. Um, and you can you could see even internationally, he, he played um, in the last few trips and just just fitted in. It's just the way he plays. He's a calm player, um, confident in himself as well, which is good. And I can only see him getting getting better. And he just needs to keep working hard. Um, as as he always does every day, but just keeps working hard and keeps concentrating on, on one thing, and that's playing football and loving it, and, and that's what he's been doing this season. And fair play to him, he's, he's had a really good season, and especially for his age. Yeah, and you're able to play across the front line. Do you have a favourite position when it comes to Ireland, or anywhere across the three? Uh, anywhere across the three, um, yeah. Um, I think the way the gaffer plays here. Um, it's easy, easy enough to play across the three for me. Um, I played on the left, um, for him, played on the right, um, and that was just out in Slovakia. We I played on both wings, um, and if he if to play up front as well, he knows I can I can do that because I've done that club level. So, um, especially in this team where he wants to play football, and uh, I think it's easy enough to to definitely I could fit into to all three basically. Gavin Cooney from the forty two, please. How are you, Callum? How are you, uh, Kate? Uh, the long goers, goalless run that you're on at the moment, is it weighing on the squad's mind, particularly the forwards, do you think? Um, I can only speak for myself, and I don't think I don't think it should. Like, it, it shouldn't. Um, because, as you said, we've, it, you start panicking when you're not actually getting the chances. Like, we are getting some good chances. Um, and obviously... I've missed missed the last few um, games through through the COVID reasons, uh, which was annoying. Um, but it's been hard for the gaffer as well. You got to remember, I think there's 14, 15 players by the last game, last in the last trip, from the from the team that he picked. So it, it's tough. The t the team's changing all the time because of obviously all the COVID stuff, which is we can't help that. So it, it's tough to. to I, I know that it, it, everyone's having to deal with it, but. When you have like 14, 15 players from who is picked in the first squad to then the last game, all them changes, it, it's tough. So, um, no, I, I don't think that they should, no one should be down about it. I just think that, you know, it's like one goes in, two goes in, or we get a win, even if it's off an own goal, you get a win and then just everyone picks himself up and, and we go again. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not personally down. Obviously, I can't speak for everyone, but I don't think there should be any pressure at all. Should just go out there and play, and and as I said, I said before the Slovakia game on in one of these, I was confident, and and I was, and I thought we'd done really well that night, and lucky to lose on penalties, but we created chances, done really well, broke the uh, broke Slovakia down through the thirds. I don't think many supporters have seen football like that from from us in a long time. So there's small steps, but as you said, the the main the main thing is the result at the, at the top, and that's that's needs to change, and and goals that need to come. So. It's understandable why people can be annoyed, but I think we've, we're doing we're going in the right direction. Yeah, and it sounds from what you're saying there, Callum, that you know with all the injuries and the COVID situation in the autumn, that we haven't really seen what both you're capable of and what the team under Stephen is capable of. 
Yeah, as I said, it's tough because I think if you look at the Slovakia game, um, everyone was sort of fit, and I think we done. You, you've had you you had your big players on on the pitch, and and it proved that night. You, you could see that Slovakia and no mugs. They're a good team, man. They got some top top players, and I f I felt comfortable in that game throughout. It was just literally getting that ball over the line, which is annoying, but. Playing wise, yeah, there's still so much more to come, and if everyone can stay fit, and um, I, I can't see why we can't push on them, and definitely this trip, as you said, these two games are, are massive for us. Thanks, Thank you. Cheers. Yeah.